welcome welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra raghuveer deshpande would like to welcome you all on my ayurveda academy youtube channel today's our topic is related with the muscle physiology and today we will discuss about a very important question for your examination which can be asked as a saq short answer question of 3 or 5 marks or also some terms are very useful for your multiple choice question that is mcq so this is muscle physiology we will discuss about excitability curve or the strength duration curve strength duration curve this is our topic of muscle physiology okay so myself is professor deshpande i am md in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology that is kai chikitsa and kriya sharir so my whatsapp number for communication 9226810630 so let us start to discuss about the muscle physiology and today we are going to see the excitation curve okay excitability whenever the muscle is getting any stimulus it get excited as you know contraction relaxation contraction relaxation contraction relaxation these are this is the most important property of a muscle so excitability curve is nothing but the graph and what that graph that indicates the relation between the strength and the duration of stimulus so how much will be the strength and how much will be the duration what is the relation so it is called as a strength duration curve this is the important topic to study the damage of the nerve because previously we have i had some lectures regarding the muscle uh, neuromuscular junction and the nerve damage etc so whenever the nerve get, gets damaged then that will affect the muscular activity and to study how much will be the damage we have to know about strength duration curve okay so this is this graph i am going to show you repeatedly these are the some important terms which can be asked as a saq as a definition as well as it can be asked for the mcq purpose so r is a, i am going to explain the definition etc but just have a look on this graph this graph will be every after alternate Uh, what you can say the ppt okay so this is the rio base can you see rio base then ut is the utilization time and c that is chronoxy these three terms are very important with relation to the muscle physiology related with the strength duration curve or excitation curve this is the graph this you can know this is the x axis which indicates the duration in millisecond in millisecond duration and this is the strength of stimulus what about strength strength of stimulus not about the muscle strength of stimulus is denoted on the y axis okay so this is what is rio base what is utilization time what is chronoxy yes let us see method how we can get this graph in this curve the strength of the stimulus is plotted in volt actually the strength is always in the volt vertically that is the y axis and duration in milliseconds horizontally as you again see this particular this is a vertical y axis and this is a horizontal axis can you see my cursor this is x axis this is y axis this is strength in voltage v v for voltage and this is in millisecond okay let us see to start with a stimulus with higher strength or voltage that is approximately 4 to 5 volt is applied this is the first step the minimum duration taken by the stimulus the minimum duration taken by the stimulus with particular strength to excite the tissue is noted how much time it will take to get excited to get contracted after the stimulus how much time the muscle will take that is called as a duration and how much strong that we are giving the stimulus is called as a strength okay again the same graph can you see here we are giving some 4 to 5 uh, strength and how much time you can see here less time as required when your stimulus is powerful you are getting a very strong electrical stimulus immediate the muscle will get excited but when your strength is less then the duration will be more it will take a longer time because your stimulus is less dr deshpande's lectures are very aggressive the stu students are getting immediate response oh my god good understood so this is called as a strength duration relation when your strength is powerful stimulus is powerful action will be quick 
when your stimulus is slow, the teacher is not speaking very powerfully, energetically, then the response from the student will also be the less. That is must be understood by this strength duration. Strength is more, duration will be quick. In a very short of time, this, uh, the muscle will be get excited. Okay, The strength and duration are plotted in the graph. Then the strength of the stimulus is decreased gradually and the duration is determined. Strength. Can you see again? I will go back. Here, 5 volt, 4 volt, 3 volt. Power is reduced. And what you are seeing? The duration is more and more, more, more. This is the main crunch of this my uh, lecture. Okay, Like this, the voltage is decreased gradually and the duration is determined every time. All the results are plotted and the curve is obtained. Here you can see the curve. First, 5 volt stimulus, strong. Duration is short. Response will be quick. Muscle response, muscle contraction will be quick. Lecture is powerful. Stimulus is powerful. The teacher, students will understand very quickly. This is the graph. Then, uh, gradually, the strength is reduced. Can you see my cursor? 5 volts, 4 volt, 3 volt, 2 volt. Then, 1 volt. Duration is too long to get response, to get contraction. Okay? Let us see. The shape of the curve is similar in almost all excitable tissues. Following are the important points to be observed in excitability curve. There are two names. The question can be asked like write down about the excitability curve or there may be strength duration curve. The teacher can be asked in any way. Rheobes, utilization time and chronoxy, these are the important terms. Remember, okay. Rheobes, can you see here? Rheobes, huh? how much minimum strength is required? Rheobes. How much minimum minimum strength? Rio base is nothing but minimum only one volt. Rio base. Okay. And this is utilization time. How much time? 0 0.2 second are getting by the muscle to get excited, to get contracted. So this utilization time is a minimum time required after a minimum voltage of stimulus. Okay, we will see the definition. Rio base is the minimum strength that is the voltage of stimulus which can excite the tissue. Again, I will go back. Minimum strength, 1 volt. Minimum strength, R is minimum volt. R is minimum volt. Minimum strength, Rio base, minimum strength. Rio base, minimum strength. How much? 1 volt over here. Okay, next. Which can excite the tissue? Because if you give, I will go back again. If you give a less than 1 voltage, mm -hmm, no effect on the muscle, no effect. That is the minimum voltage required to get muscle excited. So, Rio base is a minimum strength, minimum voltage that is required for the muscle to be get contracted, to be get excited. Okay. The voltage below, below 1 volt cannot excite the tissue wherever may be the duration of stimulus. If you can give 1 hour lecture, 2 hour lecture, 3 hour lecture, but in a very low voice, low energy, monotonous, Student will not understand even if he's, even the students sit in front of the teacher for five hours. No effect. Duration is not of important. Stimulus, minimum stimulus re required to get muscle activated. Okay. Utilization time, that is the minimum time required for your basic strength of stimulus, that is the threshold strength to excite the tissue. Even Dr. Deshpande is coming to the class and he starts the lecture. But some minimum two, five minutes are required. To get this, okay, okay, nice video, nice video. Let us see. So, minimum time is always required to get stimulus or to get excited. So, utilization time is a minimum time required for Rio basic minimum strength to get stimulated. Okay, chronoxy. Chronoxy is a minimum time required for a stimulus with double the Rio basic strength. Try to understand. Now, we are go going the double. Huh? So, again, I will show you. Just I will go back and you can see this particular chronoxy. Here, 1 volt. Can you see? Chronoxy. See for chronoxy. This is 2 volt. So, exactly double. Huh? So, chronoxy is nothing but the, again, you can see, minimum time required for a stimulus with double the strength voltage to excite the tissue. When you double it, how much minimum duration that will require? Okay. Chronoxy time will increase the less excited. Chronoxy time will be, uh, when you increase, then it uh, the, uh, the muscle will be get let, uh, less excited. Remember this relation. This relation is very, very important for the practical purpose, for in our practice. So, chronoxy time is very important because chronoxy time is a minimum time required 
for a stimulus with double strength. With double strength, but the, the chronox is also a time factor. Remember, minimum time required for a stimulus with double the strength. And when chronox time increases, it indicates that the muscle is less excited. Okay. Importance of chronox. This is most important applied part. Measurement of chronoxy determines the excitability of the tissue. It is used to compare the excitability in different tissues. Longer the chronoxy, this is lesser the excitability. This relation is inversely proportional. Chronoxy is nothing but the time factor. Chronoxy is nothing but the minimum time required. Minimum time required to be get excited. So, chronoxy is longer. Time is long lower will be, lesser will be the excitability, okay? Normal chronoxy. In human skeletal muscle, 0.08 to 0.32 milliseconds is a chronoxy time. Minimum time required. When you double the strength, double voltage is given. In frog skeletal muscle, this is 3 milliseconds. Can you see here, actually, the chronoxy time has increased. So, naturally, what you have understood, that it's inversely proportional. Excitability will be less, less excitable than the human skeletal muscles. Frog skeletal muscles, Why? Wh how we have determined? With the chronoxy time only. Always remember this chronoxy time relation with the excitability. Chronoxy 10 times more in skeletal muscle in the infants. So that uh, infants muscles are less excitable than the skeletal muscle of the adults. This is inversely proportional. Opposite, chronoxy time more, chronoxy time more, excitability less. Chronoxy time more, excitability less. Chronoxy time more, excitability less. This relation you must keep it in your mind. Chronoxy is shorter, shorter, opposite. In red muscle, that is the so red muscles are more excitable. Red muscles are more excitable than the white muscle. I'm, I have the different video for the red muscle and pale muscle and white muscle that you, you must see. My all physiology videos, uh, I have put it in the uh, what you can say, the playlist. So, you have to go for the playlist and see my different videos on the physiology. Okay. So, this is muscle physiology. Chronoxy is shorter in the red muscle. When chronoxy is short, excitability will be more. Okay. Next. Red muscles are named. Now, little bit about red muscle because they are dense with capillaries and are rich in myoglobin. It's like a hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is in blood. Myoglobin is in the muscles and mitochondria, which gives a characteristic red appearance to these muscles because a lot of blood supply is there. Then pale muscles, white muscles have comparatively less mitochondria, so energy will be less and myoglobin will be poor, giving the muscle whitish or pale appearance. Okay. Now next about chronoxy, shorter. Now chronoxy is short, so excitability will be more. Shorter in the warm-blooded, that is homeothermic animals and so naturally these are more excitable than cold-blooded animals. Warm-blooded animals are more excited. Their, their muscles, I am not saying the, the animals, their muscles are more excitable than the cold-blooded animals. Okay. Chronoxy is shortened during increased temperature. So, the temperature, atmospheric temperature is increased, chronoxy will be less. And so, that is more excited and prolonged during cold temperature. Huh? So, this uh, opposite relation you must remember. Next, chronoxy is longer in paralyzed muscles. When the pers person gets hemiplegia, paralysis, what is there? Naturally, the muscles are less excited because chronoxy time is more. Chronoxy is prolonged gradually, step by step, after two months, after four months, after six months. So, naturally, less excitement during progressive neural disease, neuro neuron disease, brain disease. What is that? motor neuron disease where the myelin sheath is going and the muscles or the nerves are damaged. When nerves are damaged, naturally they will affect the muscles. So, when the muscles, they are, the nerves are damaged, naturally muscle excitability becomes slowly less and less and less. Okay. So, my dear friends, I hope that you have understood and like this video regarding the excitation curve or strength duration curve. You must remember these three important terms like Rehobase, Utilization Time and Chronoxy Time. Huh? Okay. So, I wish all the best for your studies and for your exam. And I request all of you to please share this video. Of course, the like this video. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell button icon. I wish all the best and take care. Bye-bye.